I'm always eating when I'm hiking. Sumimasori. Mm, the Japan glitch, yeah. This is how I speak in Japanese to my dad. I'll be like, Ohio, gozai morning, bayonara. He's like, why do you do that? That just messes up both languages. And I'm like, yeah, because it's more fun. Yamete kudasu! Oh my god, guys, okay. I forgot to tell you this. It happened like a couple days ago, but I was on the train by myself. This was in Japan. And there was a lot of people. Sometimes on the train, there's a lot of freaking people. So you're all kind of like smushed together. And then I think I got harassed. Somebody was like touching my ass. I'm not even joking, guys. I was like, what the f? That's never happened to me before. Like, it, it was crazy. Yeah, it was not fun. But like, I totally put that at the back of my mind. I was like, what the f*** is... I don't know. He probably thought I wasn't going to say anything. So I was like, I saw it. and I, Well, I felt it. And I saw it. And I got so angry. I got really mad. I turned around. I was like, yo, I'm Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> when I think back on it, it's actually really funny. And then he was like so scared that on the next station, he just left. No, I, like, cause I was gonna say like the full sentence, like, yo, I'm Canadian, you don't wanna fing mess with me. I will take you to the Koban. Shikan this! Like, I will say something, you know? Like, don't make a Canadian person angry because we barely ever get angry, but when we do get angry, we are as red as our flag. But that's all I had to say because he was so scared. He like moved to a different area and then he just left the train. Yeah, I was like, what the f? Can't even take this f to the police because he just fing yeeted out of there. Like, bruh. You know what? I did. I felt bad because I was like, what the f? Did I hurt your feelings? I'm so sorry. <laughs> he was so scared that I felt bad, but I almost forgot he like harassed me. I was like, what? I don't know how that works, but yeah, I was like, oh shit, maybe I was too aggressive. And then I remember, I was like, girl, he just tried to like fucking harass you. Like, of course you have to be aggressive. I was like, oh yeah, you're right though. I, I know. <laughs> So Canadian. Yeah. And this was my first time. I'm not gonna lie. It was so uncomfortable. But instead of being scared, I was actually so angry because I was having a really bad month. He did not know I was already like at the brink of like exploding. I fucking like laid it all on him. I was like, yo. I don't even usually talk like that. You know, I don't go around being like, yo, 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 I'm Canadian. Kind of dodging this. Like, I don't do that. But he like angered me so much that I just kind of like was so aggressive. <laughs> I know I'm talking about it as if it was a funny experience, but it was very uncomfortable. And, um, yeah, if you ever get, like, that sort of experience, please, like, say something, ask for help, do whatever you can to get yourself away from that situation. You don't have to always be aggressive, obviously, but there's ways to remove yourself from that situation, so please do so. Don't just endure it and don't stay there and let them continue to harass you. Like, be careful. I told my dad and my dad was like... <gasps> Let's go to the police. And I was like, I can't remember what he looks like. And my dad was like, my dad was like, it's okay. I know how it feels. <laughs> and I was like, oh, don't say that. It was so heartbreaking. I was like, dad, I don't want you to know how it feels. My dad also got like harassed too. Not not recently, but when he was younger. I think I told you guys this story, but like he used to be a pretty boy. So that's probably why, but yeah like my dad was also the type who was like yeah people won't harass me because i'm a man but he got harassed left and right and he sometimes wouldn't even know until afterwards and he would be like oh i think i just got groped and you know even as a man he's also uncomfortable with it too like it's just not a fun thing to experience actually like if you get harassed as a man it's harder for people to believe that so if a man comes up to you and he's saying that he needs help because he's getting harassed please take them serious just as much as you would take a woman seriously Obviously put yourself first, but if you can help someone who is like in a little bit of trouble, I encourage that you do. Yeah. Always wanted everybody to call me on their job. <laughs> I'm gonna get demonetized.